Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have Night Dog from the H Solo Clan and his Object 252. He is on mines in a standard battle in a tier 9, tier 8 game, so lower tier heavy. He is also platooned with Todd 914, and Todd is in his Defender. So you guys brought out the Russian 252s, huh? Defender is more of the, uh, I guess, Mad Max version of it. It's a little more beaten up. <laughs> And uh, you got your 252. So it uh, looks like he's headed up here where, you know, some of the heavies go and uh, up on the hill. And, um, you know, he, uh, Night Dog had posted this up on his YouTube channel, which uh, I suggest you guys go take a look at. And uh, I had seen it and given him some thoughts. So he asked if I would do a little uh, analysis of it. So uh, we're going to do that. And uh, here we go. Night Dog, take it away. So, like I said, Night Dog's headed up here with some of the heavies up onto the hill, swinging a little bit to the left, which is not a bad idea, especially with Artie. Allows him to get a little hull down type of action going on. Got a. Uh, not a. Well, they do have some pressure coming up on the hill, but not a ton. 430, looks like a AMX 30 and a EBP VTU. Their 257 has not crested the hill yet. T-34 is back there. You're up here with your heavies. And there's an object 263 back there. Some cab the Carnivon Action X is getting some damage given to him. There's a 430. One thing about the 252 and the Defenders, they're not, although I've been able to pull off some snapshots, they're not real snapshot tanks. That gun has a big bloom and takes a little while to zoom in. So we're doing a little dancing up here with the other heavies, the 54E1. I don't know if he's on the reload. I don't remember seeing him shoot at all. Action X is, uh, he's getting out of dodge. The other heavies are pretty much leaving this 430 and this uh, TS-5 to hold the hill. Looks like Todd went around over to the village side. And Night Dog takes advantage of a lull in the battle. Bounces a 263. He's able to bounce a shot into the two into the 40, but bounces the 40 shot and somehow gets this big heavy tank up on the hill. Now, I can honestly say I would never have probably attempted this um, simply because the 252 does has absolutely horrid gun depression, all right? And my, in my opinion, especially with that AMX-30 down there lighting you up, you would have to come up so far to get your gun down on things, which we're going to see here in a little bit, that it just doesn't make this an advantageous move, in my opinion. But you make it work, so... As we can see, you can't really get your guns down on anything that's close, and those the things you can get your gun down onto uh, are behind rocks. Now, there goes the RHM. Are you going to be able to get a shot into him? Uh, yeah, but you missed him. You got some spotting damage. And I am surprised that Artie is just not raining on your parade here, to be honest with you. This big heavy tank up here, that would be like an arty magnet. There goes the Object 263 along with the Leopard PTA. You get a shot into the PTA, 263 is making a runner for it. PTA is still, I, I, I just don't, he, I think he doesn't, he's not sure what, where the hell you were at that you shot him. Now there's Artie. Night Dog. Looks like he might be thinking about getting down off of the hill. Maybe giving this 257 some, some help. Or some damage. There's a shot right in the lower plate of the 257. A bad spot here is because Artie can definitely hit you. Bounces a shot and takes one from the 257. Yeah, I think I might have been trying to do some side scraping here. Now 
he's just gonna stay looking at you. Nobody else is giving him any fits. Todd's still working the village. Looks like they got a VK-101P that's holding up three tanks over there. Bounces that shot. But then again, you bounced his shot, so... That worked out well. There's Artie again. They killed the driver. Bounces another shot. You're out of APCR. Two five seven looks to be pulling out, and the Action X is giving him a fight. So if you can get in there and help with that, that would probably be good for the Action X. Go for the lower plate again. I think I'd have gone for the side of the turret on that one. He's giving it to you. I'd have given it. I'd have given it a shot. They are definitely moving through the west side onto your team. Another bounce shot. There's the penetration on that AP. 225. Yeah, there you go, right into the back of the turret. That's gonna give you some good penetration. It gives him a little wake up call. You got an SU-101 in behind your lines, but it looks like the 430 is going to take care of him. The 257 is just watching. He's just waiting for you to come back out there. Looks like Todd's all by himself taking on the VK-101. Two five seven doesn't know. He wants to push in on that cat on that Carnivon action X, but he can't leave you to give him a side shot again. Uh, he's hoping that AMX thirty will help him out. Hopefully the action X isn't stupid and goes up too far where he gives him some lower plate. And you got a four thirty coming in trying to help out the action X along with uh, looks like a seven oh five. Shot into the. Lower turret, which doesn't do anything. Oh, there's Artie. Yeah, he can't focus. I don't know why. It's probably because of a huge hole in the top of your uh, turret. Holy moly, that's air conditioning. <laughs> All right, so there's the 257. Your crew is completely stunned. You did get a shot into him, and you managed to bounce his, which was good, because... Uh, what, you bounced 390, and you only had 373 left, so that was the kill shot right there, and you managed to bounce it. Alright, now your commander's hurt, you're waiting for your med kit to reload, 14 seconds. You brought the 257 down to a one shot, but then again, if he gets a good roll, you're a one shot to him. Looks like Todd's working on the VK-101. He's managed to push him back. Here comes the 705 into the back of that 257, and that's it for him. All right, your med kit's back. You can fix your commander. Night, Night Dog is notorious for, for this. <laughs> I don't know if it's his keyboard that's giving him fits. Or the fact that he uh, just isn't paying attention at this point. But uh, this isn't the only video where he's managed to play the end of the game with a hurt commander. Nice shot into the Artie, though. There's a little payback. Here goes the VK-101. That leaves the Leopard and the Artie. And you manage to spin this whole battle up on this hill. And pretty much uh, battling one tank. That 257 was giving you fits. But it's still, all in all, you've gotten some good block damage, some good damage altogether. Like Todd's moving in on the Artie. The 
Yes, your team's moving in for the Leopard PTA. Todd takes care of him, and there's the Leopard. Oh, armor not penetrated. That's gotta suck. You be able to get a shot into him? And you do. You put him out of your misery. <laughs> and that's a victory. All right. Game plates. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Master Third Class Fire for Effect for 136,016 in credits for 7,582 in experience. <clears throat> You got 2,793 in damage with one kill for 936 of base experience. You did 1,494 from 300 meters out. You blocked 1,330 and you assisted with 184. You made some good credits. You made some good experience. It was a five times. So, uh, you know, that all worked out well for you. I guess if I had to say anything about this night dog is you just, you took the tank to the wrong place. Um, once you're up on that hill, it's hard to get off, especially when they're still battling by the entrance. Um, if you got a tank with some gun depression, say like an Action X or something to that effect, then you know the hill can work out well for you. But in a, in a Russian heavy, you just don't have the gun depression. And he, obviously, as you found out, suffering three hits from Artie, uh, that up there is just, it's, it's, it's Artie heaven up there. So... I guess I wouldn't have done that. Uh, like I said, you're able to make it work and you were able to bring it out and, you know, get a win out of it and still manage to cause quite a bit of damage and, uh, you know, do do pretty good in the, in the game. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe not the choice I would have made, but it worked well for you. You were able to make it work. So anyway, that's Night Dog from the H Solo Clan and his Object 252U on mines in a standard battle. If you like the video, hit the like button. Remember to keep sending those videos in. Greatly appreciate the support. This is Bonsai Duck out.